Hey everyone, just a short one for today. I heard for a while that you can use brake cleaner to remove flux residue from PCBs, but never actually tried it. It always kind of sounded like an old wives tale and surely it would cause damage to the components, right? So I went to the store, bought a can for about four bucks, went through my junk bin and found some of the crustiest PCBs I could find, including a failed prototype, an old computer, and two soldering demo boards, along with the very first CPU implementation of my first processor. And as you can see, it has a bunch of Kynar Bodge wires, and I'm curious to see how they hold up in particular. And this can definitely has some really nasty chemicals in it, so I took it outdoors in the driveway and sprayed it down. And for good measure, I gave it a good scrub down with a toothbrush. While the first one was drying, I went ahead and sprayed down the other four boards and scrubbed them down. It was then that I realized something. I live in Florida and it's currently summer. Florida has this neat superpower during the summer where it's very hot, but more importantly, there's almost no wind flow and it's extremely humid. So it turns out that that quick evaporating brake cleaner has a pretty hard time evaporating in 80% humidity. Go figure, right? And because there's no wind, the fumes from that spray just sort of linger in the air like a big evil poison cloud. So if you live in a tropical climate like I do, maybe have a fan nearby to help you out. Anyways, I ended up using a paper towel to help dry it out. But if you live in a place that has less insane weather, you might not have to do this. Afterwards, it hadn't quite dried out yet, but I could see that it had gotten rid of the flux very easily. But some other things like these sticky bits on this PCB didn't come off. On the surface mount board, none of the silk screen looked affected and none of the parts even looked like they were messed up. I got tired of waiting for it to dry out after this and took it indoors and just sort of sat him down on top of a fan. But by the time I brought him indoors, I couldn't even smell the chemical anymore and they dried up very quickly after being on this fan for a while. And even my two experts didn't seem to have any kind of complaints about the smell. Later on, I took the surface mount PCB and looked at it under a microscope checking to see if there was any kind of damage to the silkscreen or the component labels or anything like that. And honestly, I didn't find anything that looked bad. The label for this chip was already pretty dim even before the treatment, but this 555 timer, the label looks perfectly fine. And on the PCB with the bodge wires, I didn't see any problems at all. The insulation looked perfectly fine and intact, and there wasn't any kind of damage to the connections. I did test this on my 8-bit computer though, and was able to find out that the brake cleaner completely destroyed two of the LED bar graphs. So if you're using this, it's probably a good idea to remove the sensitive components. The chips seem to be perfectly fine, but the tops of those LED bar graphs, maybe the ink or something on it was just destroyed. So overall, I'd say this is a pretty good success. It does seem like there's a lot of different types of brake cleaners, so maybe there's some formulas that would work better than the one I used, but I think as long as you use it safely, it's worth trying. Anyways, I have more videos I'm working on. I'm thinking about making a video on this little BCD clock that I designed, maybe making a tutorial video so you can learn how to design your own. So if you're interested in that, maybe leave a comment below and let me know. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.